Check out that rainbow. It's a double rainbow. There she goes. Good uh, Friday night, everybody. Notice anything different? I sure can. So, uh, yesterday, afternoonish, I had the old uh, laser eye surgery done. Yeah, can you tell? Yeah, they don't. My eyeballs don't don't look any different at all. But I can sure tell the difference. So anywho, uh, went down, had that done. Was there for maybe an hour, fifteen minutes. Sit here and spin around. And uh, yeah, so yesterday my vision was, I'd say, 50% better. You know, pretty good. I was happy, you know. I wasn't wearing glasses. It was, you know, my eyeballs are all painful and stuff. And then today the vision goes down and down. And right now I'm all blurry and it hurts. It hurts. Can't see. But it's all supposed to come back here in a little bit. I haven't had a shower in a couple days because of it, so uh, yeah, I didn't want to jump in the shower today with my eyeballs all messed up, so maybe tomorrow I'll take a shower again. Woo. So yeah, I had the Epi LASIK, which when they do that, they uh, uh, take the whole surface of your eyeball off. They don't do the flap like they do with the normal LASIK, so they take it completely off and then they do the lasering underneath. And then I get to wear this little, they call them bandage contact, I think that's what they would call it. It's just a little contact that I'm wearing until about Tuesday. Then I'll go back and they take that off and everything should be pretty much good by then. So my vision is probably going to get its worst about Sunday and then it starts healing after Sunday. So kind of excited. Yeah. It's kind of weird not wearing glasses. Roll around in bed and not have to worry about glasses getting bumped off. You know, when I'm watching the, the computer, I can wake up in the morning, I can see my alarm clock without having to squint real hard. And yeah, it's kind of cool. Went out and mowed the. It's kind of dark down here. Went out and mowed the lawn today with the new lawn tractor and worked pretty good. Uh, I'd say. It was uh, stalled a couple times. She still needs to run on a little bit of choke. So I don't think she's getting enough fuel still. I'll have to go back in and actually replace that O-ring that I kind of cut out to make flow better. It's probably all restricted again or something. So. so we'll see. But I did mow the whole lawn and I mowed it extra short and probably way too short. You know, I was I was hitting dirt there a few times and so I got some, quite a few bald spots. but. It's all moss anyways, so I kind of wanted to get it way down there anyways to let the grass come through. But, no, I'm happy with that. Yellow. So here we are. Got a couple more boxes. Uh, I need to go through everything that I actually ordered and find out if this is everything or not. I sure feel like I'm missing some stuff still, but you can kind of see my plethora of parts back here on the on the table is growing. That's all the brake parts I had uh, earlier. So, this guy here is from, uh, yeah, I can barely read that right now, Eckler Industries. Not a whole lot in here, that's for sure. Pretty empty box. Wow, that's it. So all this is, is the power steering cylinder uh, end boot and clamp. Yep. God, they're just kind of sending me everything one at a time here, even though I ordered it all at the same time. Just gonna add it to my pile of parts grown. And then, uh, oh, what do you know? Hey, look at that, the dream giveaway. Just like they do every time. Oh, I got some Harbor Freight stuff, that's cool. Anyway, next. This one here is from. CarPartsDiscount.com Tell you what, when I was shopping for parts, I was kind of sticking to the 
the main the main companies like uh, the Dennis Carpenter and all the people that are known for selling the classic car parts. And then I happened to run across this guy, this company here. And, uh, they were selling stuff for God, half the price sometimes. Same parts. This guy here is a um, who knows a seal kit for something. I can't remember. It must be the God, a bunch of little seals. Something for the power steering. Power steering pump, pump, pump repair kit. I didn't order a pump repair kit. That's interesting. This guy here is the power steering pump repair kit. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, definitely not the pump. That is the. Uh, I forget what they call that. It's a piece on the center link where the ram goes, I believe. This is going to be, yeah, there's your spring. It's kind of like what tells your uh, power steering to turn on and off. It's when it compresses the spring, it uh, gives it a little assist. I've got a Percocet setting in there now. I'll have to go lay down here right after this. There's some more rebuild parts. Not exciting at all. A whole bunch of O-rings and seals. Jeez. Packaging is here. Oh, there we go. There's one of the hoses. And that was one of the pieces I found for half off on this website. And the other hose. So the hoses that go from the ram to the control valve. And there's the list. Alright, and that's it for now.